Hey, I made a large and possibly very problematic error with the reassembly of my Honda CX500 engine and I'm going to tell you what that error was and what I'm going to do about it. Welcome to Urban Monk TV. So, I'm sitting here uh, working on finishing up the thermostat and I've got a video out on testing the thermostat and I was just cleaning the engine up some and I found these two little washers sitting here in a bag next to the engine. And I, it, for a while it took me a second to remember, you know, what the heck are these for? and I realized, oh, I think I know what those are for. I went back to the parts diagram and there they were. And so, so what they are, are the two washers on either side of the starter reduction gear. Without those in place, the starter reduction gear has play in it. And so on the engine, sorry, this handle's in the way, on the engine, that starter reduction gear is right in here. And so this is where the starter mounts. That's normally in there. So this is the hole where the starter mounts and you can see that gear is up in there and the teeth on the outside of that gear engage the starter drive and then there's a smaller set of gears on up in here that engage the starter clutch around the flywheel and I don't know if I'll be able to hold the light but if I I can wiggle that back and forth without those two washers in there so what does that mean for me in terms of work to get those put back where they belong need to remove this coolant tube again take the water pump apart remove the impeller which then will uh, release this whole rear case. Of course, the starter's got to come out. That wasn't a big deal. But then I've got to take all of these bolts off the back again, pull the back off, put those two washers on, and put it back on. All said and done, it's a considerable amount of work. This brings up a really important point. So what's going to happen if I just leave them out of there? There's going to be wear on that part that shouldn't be there. There'll also be wear out to the engine casing uh, on either side of that gear over time. Now, that's going to happen to me if I keep the bike and own it. If I sell the bike, which is my intention to do so, that is going to be another person's problem. If you like motorcycles, custom builds, or just like a good story about a man's three-year effort to build a tribute to his childhood teacher, get a copy of Creating Mr. Corton. In it, you'll learn how this man changed this man for the better. How this man took this and built this. How these guys became lifelong friends and enthusiasts of motorcycling and craftsmanship and how the name Urban Monk originated. It's available from Amazon anywhere in the world that Amazon ships in both paperback and ebook, or you can purchase through a link found on urbanmonktv.com. Get your copy of Creating Mr. Corton today. And this is where a mechanic's integrity comes into play. Will this bike start without those two washers in it? Sure, probably. Um, it'll start many times probably. Uh, the negative impact of my error will take place pretty far off in the future and so I could right now uh, one not make this video, not tell the world about it and put this bike back together. It's gonna start and I can sell it 
but eventually that owner or another owner down the road is going to have a problem with it. And what are other owners? They're people. They're people just like me and you and um, you gotta, I have to take this back apart and I have to put these two washers back on that shaft where they belong. Um, it's about integrity. It's, it's about treating other people the way I would want to be treated and when I go to buy a used motorcycle um, I want to know that somebody's done the right thing and yeah we put a lot of trust in other people when we do these things because you can't see what's inside the engine. Um, you know that's it. It's really just a video about mechanics integrity and um, I, wanted to, I wanted to speak about it on my channel because I think it's important. And so what could I have done to avoid this mistake? Well, one of the habits that I have typically uh, that I did not do in this case is right before I do any procedure, look at the service manual, review the instructions, and look at the parts breakout uh, because every part is clearly there. Those two washers were clearly there. Um, maybe if I had done that, I would have avoided this mistake. It's just good best practice. Now, I come out into the garage, I've got other obligations, you know, family obligations, that type of thing. I'm, I'm under a time crunch and I'm moving too fast. And I said to myself, you know, one, I wasn't consciously thinking of it, but somewhat back of my mind, I knew I had reviewed the service manual and the parts breakout, but days prior, not immediately before I did the job. Um, you know, had I done that, maybe I wouldn't have avoided this mistake. We all make mistakes. It's not that big a deal. It's what we do after we make a mistake. Do we learn from it? Will I be more vigilant about reviewing the service manual and that parts breakout before I do something in the future? Well, I'd like to tell you I will be. I intend to. Um, and then it's, you know, Back to that mechanics integrity, uh, what you do in this moment, uh, you know, really matters and do the right thing. Um, I do appreciate each and every one of you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to become an urban monk. And check out my book where I talk about a lot of things related to a Honda CX500 and my GS550 build. Mr. Corton, the cafe racer, but uh, I do talk a little bit about working in automotive back in the day and I've seen mechanics not have integrity and take advantage of people and um, hey, thanks for watching.